It's Milo here, back for the closing stages of Larger World number one, act one. So this is going to be the last three stages, five to eight. So mu not much has changed in regards to my team, pretty much identical. Same with the, uh, the battle items, weapons, etc, etc. I've just kept playing through with the same things. Um, still got some obstacles happening here and of course we're still attacking the zombies. Which is awesome because I find the zombies, you know, they're not shooting back as a lot easier than people. So I assume the second act will probably have a lot of people in it and be that bit harder. But for now, we'll just stick with the zombies. We'll have to wait for in the first stage five. So the first stage of this video, and we're up to wait for already. We've got this through this fairly quickly. We've had the zombies sort of funneling through the obstacles and just been taking care of them with some headshots and haven't had too much difficulty. Now I will show you at the end of this video my elite character token opening so you can see what I got. Um, probably another three star so you can wonder, wonder who it is um, and then we'll, yeah so we'll just go from on up to stage six and we're just up to the first wave. Um, oops Look at this, they've changed it up on us, so we've got some people. They've brought in some people finally on stage six. Um, I haven't changed my team, pretty much left in the same, um, which is okay at this point, I think, if you've got a high ranking team, because you don't need to change it from your zombie team. Uh, you should still beat them fairly easy, because it's still in the ages stages. Probably the next act where you're gonna have to actually equip your team with weapons for attacking and defense and also change it around with a different leader that has defense and attack abilities rather than the crit. So at the moment we've got a fair few different, we've got all the traits by the looks of it, we've had some strong, some fast, some alerts and some tough so can't really pick, oh, obviously you can only have fast and strong so you that's all you can really bring in. Uh, do you, I've got all strongs in my team and then the allies are fast. I'm sure other people have all fast but um, at the moment it's not hurting it too much and we're just getting through this with the people and to the last wave. The last person to go. Um, you see Michelle's a bit down health there. I'm not really going to use my battle items unless I have to. Like I said in a previous video, I don't care if I lose people um, as long as I get through the stage. So I um, don't tech always go out of my way to save them. I do have always pretty much have smell insults with me, but I never revive them unless I have to. Uh, so here we go. So the last stage is actually the brought back the zombies so made it a bit easier. So not last stage, sorry, stage seven. So stage six was the people and stage seven is went back zombies. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they're gonna do with the stage eight. Maybe leave it with zombies, probably. Here's to hoping. Um, they're a lot more simple. That's what my team's equipped it for, so I don't really want to have to change it around for some people if it gets a bit harder. So we're up to the wave three, wave four now. I'm getting through this fairly easy, making all the hood headshots we need to do, and then just making it. Yeah, so wave cleared, last wave, what do we got, 12 walkers here, um, they're sort of spaced out which is good, uh, it's always a bit harder when they're all bunched up and they're all coming at you at once and your team isn't making the headshots, but when they're spaced out a bit, it makes it all that easier, especially with the obstacles there, they sort of tend to funnel through in the one bunch, but when they're spaced up all 360 degrees of you, it makes it that bit easier. So we just got the guys going on about more. Got Roscoe. Oh, yep, pulling his weight around again. So the last stage is zombies. So you only have one people stage in Act One, and that's Stage Six. The rest is zombies. From memory's sake, I will go. 
So pretty much all you got to do for Act 1 is set up a strong zombie team. Um, you have one stage of people, but like you've seen before, if you have a high you know, grade of zombie team, you don't really have to change it. They'll easily still beat the people team. So we're just getting through the third wave, nine walkers, and as you can see, they've still got them generally spaced out, which makes it a lot easier. Um, I imagine the, la the last closing stages of Act 2, they will have them all bunched up, which if you're not making the headshots, can make it that bit harder because you just simply can, you don't have enough men to hit as many zombies there. And so, but we'll see. I will be posting Act 2 later on after this one. It's just, um, I think I'll split that up a bit because usually with the final stages or the final acts of most roadmap missions they get a bit harder and they so and there's probably going to be more people and with people stages my videos tend to be a bit longer because I've got to that hit them a lot more than I do the zombies so I'll probably split them up into various things to make them a bit shorter for you okay so that's that done oh just went up a level so 38 I believe my raid total for searching for new people goes up to 880 now rather than the 850 we'll just open the elite token and see what we get okay so we got a three star sandy that's all right I guess see you later guys